Hey everybody, welcome to Dream Huge Live. Pete Peterson here and... Justin Bigelow. And... Gary Cassidy. That's right, our guest today is the famous Gary Cassidy. <laughs> We're talking real estate today. Formal introduction for you, Mr. Gary, founder and president of Mid Ohio Real Estate Investors Association, marketing coach at actlikeachampion.com, author, speaker, host of the expert, Oh, there's a sales call right there. Yeah, there <laughs> there's a real estate call right there. Author, speaker, host of the Ask the Expert every Monday on, at 11 a.m. on Facebook. Check it out. And real estate investor extraordinaire. That's right. Did I hit everything on that? I think you did. Okay, awesome. Hey, yeah. nice shirt, by the way. Yeah. We kind of... Great you want to light. try this and you, you could just <laughs> yeah. do a whole, whole you know, yeah. plaid. Well, you didn't get the memo, did you? <laughs> oh, blue here. Yeah. Okay, blue's so. good. Okay, guys, thank you for joining us. We're going to have five questions for Gary, and um, we're just going to talk some awesome real estate stuff here today. So I'm going to tell you, Gary, first off, I, I was researching you a little bit last night, thinking some questions to give you. And um, you are a man that cannot sit still. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you got, you're doing all, kind, going. all kinds of stuff, constantly going. But the one thing that stuck out to me was this. Um, I was on your marketing coach website. Okay. And at the top it says, um, I can find any business an additional ten to $50,000 in less than 45 minutes without spending a cent on marketing or advertising. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Well, uh, essentially what I actually do on that in that 45 minutes is I actually have a software that I actually will go through and ask a series of questions. And a lot of times it comes down to where is how the uh, business is actually doing their marketing. Mm -hmm. We'll redirect some funds, okay, and we'll actually put them in a different direction and, and allow them to start generating leads and income. Okay? Wow. Okay. So that's what I love. Just pull a few levers there. Yeah. So it doesn't cost you any additional yeah, money. I've been in business my entire life. Mm -hmm. I've never actually worked for an employer except for in high school, and uh -huh. that was just like a little, little time. So I got out of the uh, high school, went right into the real world as an independent contractor, and so I've had to learn over the years, and I've I've studied. I don't have a formal uh, uh, education with a college degree, mm -hmm. so my my degree is going to seminars. My degree is uh, paying a mentor. Uh, I've spent thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars on mentors to help me grow to where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. And wow. so the stuff that I've actually learned from that is yeah. what I can implement here. And so I, some of the big guys in the world, the national trainers, have been training for you know, 30, 40 years. And I'm able to take bits and pieces and put them into a training program and show people how to actually maximize their business and run a little bit uh, smoother. Sure. Yeah. So that is actlikeachampion.com. Yeah. So we're going to be jumping all over the board a little bit today, but that is, that's as far as the, um, the business consulting side of Gary Cassidy. Absolutely. Correct? Yes. Um, so that's awesome. Yep. And I love that, you know, that's, that's all real world knowledge stuff there. You know, of course the textbooks always help, but there's no, nothing like real world experience. Yeah. And that's what you're and saying. To me, education is very important. We have mm -hmm. to have education. Uh, you know, I've, I've hit the 40 year mark, you know, so I'm 40 plus years old now. And it, I tell people I don't have a traditional education with college, but that doesn't mean I don't have a, a, a degree. Like when I'm in my truck, my friends, they get in my truck, I've got like a CD or something playing. I'm playing, sure. you know, something on series, a radio that's like a educational piece. Never stop learning, learning, right? Exactly. Yes. So, you know, I've, I put, I actually counted this up the other day and I can't believe I'm telling this, but. I've literally put over a million, a million miles on my vehicle wow. with different vehicles uh, since I started off uh, uh, out of high school. Wow. And so if you actually think about the time I've spent in a, a windshield time in front of a car driving down the mm -hmm. road, I've literally, and I, I, I listen to the radio occasionally, but most of the time it's like a, a podcast or it's a seminar or it's a tape or, or a program that I bought. Sure. Yeah. And I'm, it's, it's motivational and it's helping me. Mm -hmm. so, this yes. is uh, Audible. 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 Audio. Yeah. yeah. Audible. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I use that so, a lot. Yes. I'm a constantly, uh, you know, I, I'm not a big reader reader, yeah, but yeah. I love to listen. Yep. You know? It seems so. a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> Especially it when it's the author actually yeah. reading it. Yes. Sure. It comes so, across more passionate. A little bit more entertaining. Yes. Yep. That's, that's a great tip right there. Audible, everybody. Yeah. For those of you looking to absorb and, you know, read more, check out Audible on Amazon. 
So you might get my book soon on Audible, actually. Oh, oh awesome! Sweet. There we go. I'm we're gonna get. On, we're gonna get I'm to the I'm books. working on that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> so, Biggie, go ahead. You yeah. Got so, uh, tell us about your, the uh, Mid Ohio Real Estate Investors Association. Yeah. So, uh, Mid Ohio Real Estate Investors Association, the Mid Ohio RIA, is a, uh, a local group that is advocate for like real estate investors. We are looking for you know helping uh, landlords. Yeah. Maybe you know. So we actually are part of what they call the Ohio Real Estate Investor Association. Okay. We actually have legislation that will go and fight some of these uh, things that people are going to try to pass. Like uh, two years ago, I don't know if you guys recall this, but um, uh, out I think out in the Clear Fork area, they were going to try to pass this law to make landlords every time a tenant moved in and out, they'd have to get like an annual um, inspection. And so one of the things we had is I hired legislation come yeah. in and fight that because yeah. it was it was going to cost landlords an extra you know like a couple hundred dollars a year wow. and and do some stuff. Now if the landlord's property was not uh, up to standards, then yeah. obviously we see a problem, right? Yeah. We want to we want to raise the standards of that. We don't want slum lords, right? Yeah. But we don't want to have the unconstitutional extra expenses because what's going to happen if that something like that passes? Yeah. It's literally going to be passed on to the tenant. Mm -hmm. Okay, for yeah, landlords exactly. actually, you know, exactly. so then rents are going to go up even higher. Yep. And so that's, you know, some of the stuff that the uh, Mid Ohio Real Estate Investor Association does. Yeah. I love that. We want less we, government, not more. Exactly. Yeah, yes, exactly. Absolutely. You know, and it's all about education. So yep. we want to educate, you know, people that are wanting to start off when maybe buying properties. Yeah. How to buy them properly. Okay. Yep. How to deal with a real estate agent. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have drove some guys around and went to the, the local seminar when a big guru guy comes in, right? Sure, yeah. We drive, drive around and waste your time. That's stuff that we want to prevent. We want everybody to work together. Yeah. And so, uh, but it's all about the education. So we teach people how to buy and sell properties right, the right way as yep. an investor how to buy as a landlord, what the standards are, and when we stay active in the community. So, Sounds very informational. We, yeah, we're improving the community. We, you know, we're kind of the guys that are flipping houses. So. Okay. Mid-Ohio Real Estate Investors Association, yep. and you guys meet when and where? We, uh, we meet right now, we're meeting uh, online mm -hmm. uh, on Zoom, but we meet the fourth Tuesday of every month uh, from six to eight. And uh, when we go back to we're able to get a location, we're actually been meeting at the uh, Hampton Inn off of South Main Street across from uh, like uh, the sheriff's department there, the gotcha. state highway patrol. Once a month, yeah. very good. Okay, awesome job with that. Um, okay, now let's let's talk about you personally. What are you personally doing in real estate investing, if you don't mind telling us? Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm i an open book, so okay, I, don't, sure. I don't try to hide anything from anybody. Mm -hmm. um, I do kind of a variety of stuff. So I, I'm a landlord, mm -hmm. so I do, you know, have I manage some properties for my, I, myself. Uh, we flip properties as well, so we buy houses at a, a, a low rate, and then we put money into them, we fix them up, and then we resell them. Okay. Uh, we occasionally do some wholesale type products, but that's a whole other conversation there. But uh, mostly we're trying to, you know, uh, I want to improve the community. You know, so when I flip a house, I don't want to just flip it to make money. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to improve the community, and I love it when all the neighbors come over and say, "Hey, I thank you for fixing this house yeah. up." Right, awesome. and then all of a sudden you see it, start seeing them paint their house, yeah, mm -hmm. and so forth. So that's what really increases pride. Increases, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know we work. Uh, one of the things I'm working on right now is uh, we're looking to raise money um, in a sense uh, through our real estate uh, aspect. To we want to give a house to a veteran. So oh wow, yeah. So that's Amazing. one thing that we're, we're working on right now. That that is that's a personal thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, guys, get Gary right here. He's the epitome of the dream huge philosophy. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's he's thinking more of than just you know, let me flip this house and make some money. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's much more than that. It, he's not even thinking about himself so much. Thinking about reinvesting him in the community. Giving a house to a veteran. I mean, that's amazing, dude. Yeah. Great yeah. job. I love it. Small steps yep. towards the. That's where we're working dream. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So very awesome. cool. Um, so tell uh, or no, Biggie, go ahead. Yeah, tell us about the the cover story that you had on the uh, small business magazine. Yeah, so uh, small business uh, breakthrough magazine uh, through I do a lot of like mentoring, uh, and then I also have mentors out there. And so I actually had an opportunity through some of the organizations I had to yeah. be featured on a cover and awesome. uh, uh, write an article about marketing uh, lead generation. So. I've been lead generating for years. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it started you know when I was like eight, 17, 18 years old, getting in the. For those that know, I spent 17 years in the insurance world, and I was sharing a story mm -hmm. with uh, 
Pete here, uh, my first year in the insurance world, I literally, uh, I sucked. <laughs> I had one sale the entire year and I made like 50 bucks. And I spent more money than I could imagine on credit cards and, and so forth, just trying to get my insurance career going. Yeah, yeah. And so the company that I was with at the time, I, I was a contractor, but they said, hey, we'll give you leads if you produce sales. Yeah. Well, if you don't make sales for six plus months, what happens to all your leads? They yeah. they go away. Sure. And so I was forced to actually start making, you know, generating my own leads. And so yep. and that's where all this knowledge, a lot of it comes from. You get pushed into the corner, the only way out is to yep. create I refuse to give up. leads. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, I did. I refuse good. to give up. Never give yeah. up. Never, never give, give up. up. Yes. Never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that's awesome. Cover, cover model right here. Cover. Right here with us. <laughs> Gary, the cover model. So tell us about your books. Um, first off, there's, there's, there's Game Changers, Wheel of Fortune, um, um, uh, 45, 45 minutes, what was 10K that? 10K in 45 minutes. 10K in 45 minutes, thank yep. you. Um, tell me about each of your books and maybe hit a few highlights. Yeah, so uh, the one I'm most proud of, to be honest with you, is uh, my book called Game Changers. Sure. Um, I, you know... Why it's so important to me is I never thought of myself as an author. Never mm -hmm. thought I would actually become an author. Uh, in fact, I actually, uh, in school, and not too many people really know this, and it's kind of getting a little personal, but I actually had a, a, a learning disability. Okay. So my learning disability actually held me back in school. And so I was in, a, uh, they called them at the time, LD classes. Sure. Yeah. And so I was in LD classes, and you know I couldn't read and write for the most part. Okay. And so when I had an opportunity in to write a book and got chosen to be part of this or, uh, book, and then it became an Amazon bestseller. It was just absolutely amazing to me. Wow, awesome! Uh, and the book itself uh, was about so, a motto that I've lived by uh, pretty much since my high school days. My uh, wrestle, high school wrestling coach uh, had a motto: of "Act like a champion," mm -hmm. uh, and it was attitude, conditioning, and training. And I just taken it to the next step, and that there took you know I still live by that today. Sure. And I grow every day. Every day I get up, I'm looking for the next thing to do yep. and to grow my business yep. and overcome the obstacles of maybe not being the great best speller or maybe not being the best reader. Yeah. Okay? That's one of the reasons I do Audible because you know okay. I can listen versus read. Yep. Uh, it's much easier, right? Uh, my other books, um, you know, I've got a lot of marketing books. Uh, like how you know how to uh, generate leads on Facebook, uh, video marketing. Uh, and those books are for educational purposes mm -hmm. to, you know, uh, a lot of times I'll even pass them out or, you know, you can buy them on Amazon right now. And the concept is, is helping the next person grow. I want to give back to the, just like people give it to me. You know, I uh, had a mentor when I was very young saying, once you know something, you need to teach it to somebody else in order to really achieve it. Yeah. And that's one of the things I've always been proud of and, and I've always wanted to give back to those individuals. And help that one person that was struggling like I was yeah. when I first started in the world. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 I feel similar. Yeah. You just feel like a leader and Absolutely. You know, it's you wanna learn and yep. then you feel like, you know, you gotta you gotta help other people out or it's just yeah. knowledge you're keeping. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, there there's uh, uh, Les Brown, uh, the national uh, speaker, he I think he has a saying of something that he uh, there's more dreams that are dead right now and laying in the in the gravesite than there are actually out there yeah. because people don't act on those dreams. Yeah. Sure. So some think it's too hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's really just it's uh, I'm nothing. I put my pants on the same way you do, the same yeah. way you do. Yeah. And literally, you just get up and you start doing it, and you find someone that's either done it or knows how to do it, and you you either pay them as a mentor or yeah. you you somehow work with them. Uh, either it's free or you pay for it. I I personally think you know she should pay something for their knowledge. Yeah. But this is you know now sometimes we'll give it free. I give free advice all the time and I'll help you if you need something, right? Yeah. But find somebody that's done it and go after it and do follow their footsteps. Yeah. Before you start reinventing the wheel. Sure. You know. Yeah. Surround yourself with those successful people, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You, you're the average of the five people closest to you. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. right. So um, you want to elevate your game. You know, surround yourself with successful people, and like you said, they will mentor you. Yes, and you will learn from them. Yep. Um, and and you guys will all be better because of it. So yes. awesome. Um, and I was going to ask you, uh, 
as a last kind of thing is, you know, what kind of advice would you give to a, a beginner investor? What, okay, I want to get into real estate. I'm not sure if I want to flip, if I want to, you know, buy a rental and, you know, rent that out, but yeah, I want to yeah. start making some money in real estate. You know, what, yep. what would be some good advice for that? Probably the, f the initial first advice is get educated. Um, whether it's coming here to Dream, uh, Dream Huge Realty, talking to these guys and saying, hey, what is it? Uh, coming to the Middle Ohio Rio, uh, go into your library and getting a free book. Okay, yep. the libraries are there now. A lot of the stuff's uh, free downloads on you know, like you download it now. Yeah, it's all digital. All yeah, them. so start educating yourself there. Mm -hmm. Start hanging out with other people that invest. Sure. Okay. Yep. Then you'll start, and then ask questions. Okay. Yep. Ask the questions. Find somebody that's investing now before you buy your first property. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've seen a lot of people jump into their first property and you know, me included, I, I wanted to get out there so bad that I just you know, went out and done it, right? Yep. Um, but there's a lot of things I would change on my first few properties. And it wasn't until I found somebody that I knew that was doing it that I would, you know, was able to educate me and yeah. move me to the right direction or how to buy a property as an investor. Yeah, okay. sure. Did you, uh, did you, through those mistakes, did you not realize you made a mistake until after? Oh, yeah, it was always after. You always realize Hindsight's you 20, talk 20. to somebody yeah. else and like, yeah. oh, my God, I never even thought of that or yep. something. Absolutely. It, you know, uh, like I, uh, for example, I bought a property with asbestos uh, siding. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of thought it was asbestos siding, but I didn't, you know, I, I, we'll just kind of rip it off. Yeah. Not realizing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> just rip it off. It. Yeah, you can't just rip it off, <laughs> you know. Uh, stuff like that. Sure. You know? Yeah, uh, but yeah. What a great way to learn, though, because that's when you learn yep. in the real world, that's when you really that's learn. That's when you really yeah. learn. Oh, it is. Yes. You, know, uh, you know, contractors is a whole other, you know, that's a whole training session just on contractors. Yeah. How to do, you know, and pick quality contractors. Yeah, that's a uh, you know, challenge. Uh, and do background checks on them. You know, I have nothing against contractors. I love contractors, but I've had contractors literally come in and they look great and then they run off with your money and never show up. I saw your post today yeah. when you hire the contractor with the lowest oh, bid. Oh, with the bricks. The brick wall is <laughs> yeah. just all crooked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That looks like me laying some bricks out yeah. there. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Any, any final things, Justin? Um, no. Okay. Yeah. No, that was yeah. awesome, Gary. Thank you well, so much. I got much. one question. Sure, yeah. Can Any I final have, things for you? I'll take over your show. Take it over, baby. Right. Okay. Dream Huge Realty. Yes. Why Dream Huge? How did that come about? Why that name? How did that name come about? Well, the name kind of, it, it, it revolved around a quote from Napoleon Hill. Okay. Um, you need to cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. Okay. I really love and just live by that quote. If you dream it, you need to nurture that dream. And, and bring it to fruition. Um, and then hu the huge, I kind of got off of a uh, um, car salesman. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, he's the biggest Kia dealer in the, in the world. And he's yeah. always saying, huge, that's huge. <laughs> We're going to be huge, you know? Yeah. So I kind of stole that from him and yeah. I combined the two. And well, the, I think that's yeah. great. Like, but your name though, if you really sit back and think about it, dream huge. If you're not dreaming, inspiring to be better, yeah. then where are you going to be? If you want to have a Lamborghini, yep. you got to dream it first. If yes. you want to own a big business, you got to dream it first. That's right. Yep. You, you said you bought like a 100 unit apartment complex. You probably dreamed for years about owning a 100 unit apartment complex, right? Yes, sir. Yep. And then all of a sudden it came true. Yeah. Yep. So that's inspiration. Yep. So that I love the name. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah it starts with a dream. If you guys, all, all your viewers out there, if, it, if you have a dream, work on that dream. Absolutely. Because that's, yeah. you, that's your ultimate yep. achievements right there. So, Mr. Gary Cassie, thank you for joining us. You can thank find you him online at actlikeachampion.com. Yes. Also on Amazon.com. Search Gary Cassidy for all the books, correct? <laughs> yep. Um, anywhere else they could, people can find you online? Uh, there's, yeah, I've got a lot of websites. Part of my marketing, right? Uh, Wheelfortunelead.com uh, is good. Uh, Leads.com. Uh, GaryCassidy.com. And then actlikeachampion.com is probably the best one to go to. There's some free downloads there. You can get actually one of my books for free if you go and yeah. uh, put in your email address or something. And, yeah, we won't put you on a list and blast stuff out to you. But so one more time, yeah. the, the the website to get the free book download, uh, actlikeachampion.com. Actlikeachampion.com. Yep. So everybody, thank you for joining us today, Mr. Justin Bigelow, Mr. Yep. Gary Cassie, myself, Pete Peterson. 
Hey guys, work hard, never give up, and dream, dream huge. huge. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.